What's going on guys, Fickle here, welcome to another one of these little Destiny videos I like to do frequently. Uh, so today we're going to be discussing the fact that High Moon Studios have placed a job listing looking for game mission designers in collaboration with Bungie on Destiny 2. If you like this video and find it informative, drop a like below and obviously subscribe for more. But anyway, let's get into it. So the listing was placed on Gamer Sutra today and claims to be seeking a talented and self-directed mission designer, which is really quite strange, as so far Hyman Studios have appeared to only be working on weapons and armour, we even saw some of them in the dawning. The listing moves on to say, our studio has a history of using innovative techniques designed to boost productivity and product quality, which in turn enhances our studio's quality of life. Which indicates the fact that they're here to produce content quicker and meet that consistent content plan we keep hearing about. So it does look like they're trying to make better content, increase productivity and quality. So they want to make more content, they want to make it quicker and they want to make it consistently better. They say that they're currently seeking the best of the best as we collaborate with Bungie on the Destiny franchise. Didn't quite say Destiny 2, but I think we're all in agreement here that it is Destiny 2 they're working on. Some of these more interesting parts of the job I'm going to list below. So, scripting gameplay events and objectives to enhance the level design. Collaborating with team to create new innovative game mechanics and scenarios. Prioritizing and self-managing tasks with lead to meet deadlines. So there are others and if you want to see them I'll leave the job listing and the reddit thread in the description but it looks like they want to improve the scripting of levels in gameplay which is something I have to admit Destiny 1 probably struggled to do as in go scan something and shoot waves of enemies isn't the most inventive thing. It looks like they're trying to create fresh gameplay mechanics as well which I think every player would want to see for strikes and, and missions in general, I'd very much like to see mechanics in missions. And also it says that they have to meet deadlines, which is something we've seen in previous job listings. I have other videos on those job listings if you want to see them in the description. So that again is obviously for that consistent content plan. We keep getting that rammed on our throats as do any person joining the team. The job listing also asks for experience with any of the following gameplay styles cooperative mission design, experience with 3D world editors, and open world design experience. Pretty fucking interesting, especially the open world aspect. Destiny 2 has been said to have a more interesting expansive open world, now it's dropped the technical limitations of the previous console, so it does actually look like Destiny 2, from what we've heard, is going to have a more in-depth open world with NPCs and outposts, so I think that's going to be something they're looking to develop quite heavily. So. Bringing on new members of the team to specifically look at things like that is probably a sensible idea. And after a bit of digging, you can find the release platforms which raises interesting questions. It only says, as of now, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Does that mean no PC release? Uh, I, I guess kind of we'll have to wait and see, but of course it is possible that Hyman Studios just aren't involved with the PC side of the game. We see this with the Call of Duty franchise, which is another Activision title where they're just separate teams working on PC ports. So it just would make sense that Hyman Studios may only be working the console side. Another reason we may not be seeing anything about a PC release just yet is that it could launch after the console version. We see it with many Rockstar titles. We could get Destiny 2, let's say, September 29th, my predictions. Well, we could maybe get Destiny 2 on PC maybe in the March soon after because I know plenty of players that would buy it on console and then buy Destiny 2 straight after on PC. I mean, fuck it, I'd probably do that. And like I said, we see this with plenty of Rockstar games, and again, why would Activision not want to cash in on that huge PC audience? And like I said earlier, Hyman Studios may just not be working on it. Remember, Vicarious Visions also joined Bungie on the Destiny franchise, so it is entirely possible that they're solely working on the PC release or in collaboration with Bungie. Like I keep saying every time we see these job descriptions and job listings keep coming up, uh, I do worry a little bit because I really don't like the idea of Bungie still working on Destiny 2. You know, E3 is literally around the corner and Destiny 2 is, what, probably six months away if, if everything seems to be going to plan for Activision. So 
I don't know, I just get worried every single time, but that's about it for today's video. Very short news video today, I have to apologise for the reuse of gameplay, I've actually ran out, got, got a stock up on that, but, but nonetheless, some very interesting news. Like I said earlier, if you want to know about previous job listings similar to this, they give more insight into Destiny 2, they'll be in the description, as some of my other videos that I think you'll enjoy. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, a like is always appreciated and obviously subscribe for more. Also hit the bell end to be notified on my uploads as we're going to have some very interesting videos on the way in the lead up to Destiny 2. So now is a very good time to subscribe, especially with the fact Age of Triumph is on its way. So if you want all the info on the Destiny the Destiny universe at the moment, hit that sub button boy. Or, or, or a cheeky share is also always appreciated. But your viewing and enjoyment is enough for me. Any form of feedback is always wanted. But until then, I guess I'll see you in the next one. And bye bye. Oh ho!